Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very relaxing, very chill. I'm going to be taking you guys along on kind of like my self-care routine, my pamper routine, just all the things that I do when I want to feel clean, I want to treat myself, I want to feel good. <laughs> Pardon me. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment. I'd love to talk to you. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And now let's go take a shower because that is the first thing that I just like need to do. I need to feel clean. I need to take a shower and that will make me feel good for the rest of this kind of self-care routine. but I'm wearing a bathing suit, so it's all good. I just did my like regular shower routine. So the first thing I use is the Aesop Geranium Leaf Body Cleanser. And then the last time that I dyed my hair, it was like at the end of May, my mom got me a new shampoo conditioner. I used to use Olaplex, but now I use the Kerastase Hydrating Illuminating Shampoo for lightened or highlighted hair. And then the Kerastase Length Strengthening Conditioner for hair seeking healthy length. So I just used both of these and these are just like typical what I use every time I wash my hair and then I washed my face with this cleanser that I've been using for years now it's the Ren gentle cleansing milk cleanser so that is basically my like everyday shower routine but now we are getting to the pamper stuff so the first thing that I'm going to be doing for my hair is putting on a hair mask I recently got this Pantene soothing recovery mask smooths unruly frizz prone hair so this is what it looks like and I put it on for five to seven minutes and then I rinse it out and I like to put on a lot because I really want something to help smooth my frizzy hair and kind of like hydrate my hair and save it. As you saw, I put a ton of that in because I really wanted to help my hair. And the good thing about it is that it smells so good. It kind of smells like coconut and just like sweet and it's really, really nice. And my hair smells like that for the next like four days after I use it. So love that product. And while it waits, I'm going to do another thing for my face. So I exfoliate my skin with the Ren Clarifying Clay Cleanser. So it's like a clay formula type of thing and it exfoliates your skin. I don't do this a lot because my skin is really sensitive, but when I do do it, I always feel like an instant change in my skin. It feels like a baby's bottom. It's so smooth. Okay, it's time to wash out the hair mask. Now, very last step for my hair care is to put in some sort of serum. I recently started doing this because my hair has been so frizzy and I wanted something to obviously control it. And I found so many articles online that suggested this product. It's the John Frieda Frizz Ease Extra Strength Serum for thick, coarse hair. So it says to use like one pump. I use like three pumps because I really want it to work. And then I just comb it through. And this is also why I use multiple pumps because my hair is so thick. I feel like I'm not touching every strand right now. So I'm gonna add some more. And there we go, that stays in. I don't rinse it out. And now I'm gonna hop out of the shower and we're going to come back with a face mask. Okay, I just got dressed back into what I was wearing before, but I was not wearing this all day. Like I changed into this right before I started filming, so I didn't get back into like dirty clothes. I would never do that after a shower. Right now I'm going to comb my hair. I forgot that I had to do this. I had to go get my brush in my room, but combing my hair after my shower is basically the only time I can comb it now or brush it. I don't know why I'm saying comb. Brush it, I mean, because as I said, my hair is all of a sudden frizzy, all of a sudden kind of curly. So I can't brush it when it's frizzy and curly or like poof up like crazy. So I brush it either after the shower or I brush it right before I'm gonna straighten it. Cause then it doesn't matter if it gets poofy cause I'm just gonna straighten it. But I'd rather not use heat on my hair every day. So I usually only straighten it once a week if I straighten it. And it's so, so smooth right now. Like absolutely no tangles cause of all the products that I put in. Now I'm going to be doing a face mask, obviously. Can you even have a self-care day without doing a face mask? I don't think so. I have this little mini version, I probably got it for free, of the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It says, apply a thin layer to clean skin, leave on for five to 20 minutes. That's what I'm gonna do. This is a very messy application. 
Here is what the face mask looks like. I started with my nose and you can already see that it's like drying, but I'm gonna put a timer for 20 minutes and I'm probably just gonna watch an episode of TV while I wait for this to dry and then I'll take it off in 20 minutes or I'll take it off a bit early if it's starting to hurt my skin because my skin is really sensitive and I can already feel it kind of tingling. So if it's like unbearable, I'll take it off. But otherwise I'm gonna stick to the time and see you guys when it's time to rinse this off. hard for me to talk right now because it's so tight but I managed to keep the mask on for 20 minutes and it dried basically everywhere except for like a few spots but now we're going to wash it off This is what my skin looks like after the mask. It did make it a little pink, but my skin is really sensitive, so I don't think it actually did anything. My skin definitely feels very smooth right now. I don't think I would recommend the mask though because it made a huge mess in my sink. Like when I'm taking it off, all the water turned black and like it's splattered everywhere, so not that fun to take off. But yeah, feels nice. And now I'm going to do the last step for my skincare. If you're watching right now, I'm really curious. Comment down below what your favorite part of like your self-care slash pamper routine is, whether you enjoy doing your hair the most or like washing your body or doing your skincare because for me it's definitely skincare but now i'm just going to seal in my skin's moisture with this complex 15 daily face cream i'm almost out of this one but thankfully i have a second one i always buy two at a time because they're so hard to find for some reason it's a really good moisturizer though there we go and now i'm going to go back to my room for the next step the next thing that I want to do to kind of pamper myself is do my nails. I would go get them done, but I've actually never gotten acrylics before. And I really feel like I want to get a set just for the summer. So if I do that eventually, it'll definitely be in a vlog. But for now, I'm going to paint them myself. So I chose this cute as a button shade from Essie. It's like a bright, fun pink color. And I'm going to do my nails right here. I have like this box as kind of my setup. It's really random. I don't have like a proper setup, but I want to do my nails in my bed. So I just got this empty box and I have my polish, my top coat, my base coat, this thing to clean my nails and a nail file. And I'm going to continue watching Friends. nails are done. They look so bright. I love this pink. I'm so happy with how they turned out. My episode of Friends just ended and now I think the very last thing that I want to do is something that'll like be enjoyable but also like off a screen. So I think I'm gonna read a few chapters of my book. Right now I'm reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. So I think I'm going to read this for a bit because I love reading. It's so relaxing and it obviously gets me off my phone screen, my computer screen. So I'm going to do this for a bit and then that's basically all that I do when I do my little self-care pamper routine so that is basically the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this more like relaxing type of vlog i really enjoyed bringing you along on this routine and also doing this routine because i feel so clean right now so good so fresh so ready for the rest of my week because i'm all like pampered and stuff i definitely encourage you to do something for yourself today if you haven't already whether that's like doing a face mask or taking like 15 minutes to read a book like do something for yourself today you will not regret it you'll feel very good after I feel so good right now. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below because I respond every single comment. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye!